Hello guys, Sujara speaking. Welcome to Bedtime Stories, episode number 545. And this is it. This is the final part of Pixar Storybook Collection. So, we're on part 18, and you're all going to enjoy it. So let's read it out some children. So we got for us. So, the book we're going to read you now is part 18 in the book, and that is, of course, Luca, a gift for Roja. I've been out since that word, sorry. Now, see here is the last part of the page, see here, and this is going to be it. So, we're going to see Luca hugging the two Frishy friends. Here we go. Luca, Abaro, and Gorgia were best friends. They did everything together. They are eight together. Wow, okay. They played together and they even won a virtual cup together. Wow, okay. Um, not only were they friends, but also a team. And teammates stayed together. Wow, okay. Our dogs forever. They have so much fun to, during the summer. Go on an adventure. And after, after adventure, they love to ride after, around town in their Vespa together. They just enjoy being kids. But they know summer could last forever. Sally, that makes more sense than anyway. Even though it's a Pixar movie difference. There you go not. Even though it's making more sense than anyway. Next page. Anyways, um... The days were getting short. The weather could soon be cooling down. After all, Italy, schools were opening their doors. Summer was ending, and Julia was leaving. Wow, okay. Luca watched as he packed her suitcase. It was going to be months, be months before she, she saw her again. Wow. I saw her going, I'm going to start sure I miss you guys here. Um, she said. She grabbed a stack of old school books, and she knew Luca like. Every time you read these books, you can think of me. Wow, okay. Thank you, Julia. Thanks, Julia. Julia, but now say what? Say, Luca. Um, you may realize something. We need to get Julia a gift. He was with Abriel. She ran. She she can so she can remember us as well. Yes, said Abriel. Not just a a old gift. We'll just uh, get her something uh, so awesome. Okay. So she'll remember us forever. He scratched his chin, but what, what, but what, something from underwater, underwater, as, um, Julia, standing between them, said, Jerusha, this has a great idea. Wow. That's my whole lot of sense now in the movie, different. So there you go. Next page. Anyways, we're almost done in the book here, and we're gonna move on in these past pages. And we're gonna end this, is gonna be 300 pages in the book. Wow, okay. And let's be it. Anyway, hold on. And, yeah, that's 300 pages. Wow, okay. The next morning, um, Julia met the boys at the beach. It was an exciting day. She'd never been on Lucas' home before. Wow, okay. Julia got on a diving suit. Wow, okay. Bell got in the, uh, in the water. Wow, okay. Transport on the sea monster. Okay. Luca and Julia joined a barrel on the water. Began swimming down towards the ocean floor. Wow, okay. You guys living on the way down here? Julia asked. Yeah, and they said a barrel was a slug. We're pretty cool. Can't wait to show you around. Said Luca. This way, said a barrel. Wow. This makes more sense anyway. And that has made more perfect sense. So there you go or not. Next page. Anyways. They arrived in the seagrass mail. It's beautiful, said Julia. Julia's my nephew, that's his name, sorry. Um, what is your, what is this place? Well, this is where I help out in the family goldfish book farm. Said Luca. Whoosh. A school of, school of goldfish appeared. Um, swimming this way and that. Going and quieting and bumping the, in, into one another. Luca swam all around, trying to direct them. But no matter how hard uh, to try, he tries, my dad. Fish still swam out of war. Can I try, Julia? Well. Okay. Makes a lot of sense in the bubble. Kind of like the mix between and the whole thing. That makes more sense. Next page. Anyways. Hold on. Next page. Anyway. Um, hey, boys. Call Julia in a few minutes later. 
Call it, call, check it out. Look, his mouth drop open. Wow. Okay. Goldfish were swimming in the perfect figure eight. Okay. Um, not a single fish was out in the place. Even the barrel was impressed. How do you get, do that? Look at that. Um, Julia Beeb, I uh, got them to work as a team. A teammate stick it together. Exactly. Next, we're in Lucas' home. Here's a cold cookie. Is that a dessert or something? I don't know. You can eat like a, you get by the service, okay? Makes sense anyway. So, Lucas' mom? Wow. Then, Lucas' dad, um, hang on, I gotta close this up here so I got down in this new copyright reasons. Anyway. Boom. Then, Lucas' dad showed Julia his prized snow crabs, okay? Snow crabs, anyway. Um, there's a frenzy pasta. Fast and crush your busiest crabs in the sea, seven seas. Wow, okay. She's amazing, said Julia. Go with my pronounce anyway. I wish my dad could see this. Said Lucas' dad has an, an idea. He gave good Julia a crab as her own. Wow. I wish I'd be there with these kids, but that should make more sense anyway. Even though I was a kid growing up, and Luca will be there for me as well. I should hug him, by the way. And not a sea creature, but and and a human being. Next page. Anyways, wow. Luca can't believe it. Even his parents have kept figured this out. Out the perfect guess. But Julia, Julia, when they have anyway. He searched his bedroom. They didn't find anything that he, they wanted to be a good guess. Looking for something? His grandma asked. Wow. Yeah, he said a gift for Julia. Do you have any ideas? It's Saturday, she reminded him. Um, let's try at the farmer's market. Wow, okay. Every week in the every everyone in Lucas Village gather around on the large sandbar to sell their merchandise. Julia was in, in route all by all the colors and sound that the she forgot that to say every even one Santa Santa um Pisario, sorry, sorry, but now it. Sorry. Anyway, the local sea monsters were just uh, stride by Julia. That's my dad. Julia, but now it's anyway. Yeah, I never seen a land monster underwater. Wow. That is scary. I know. I know it's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not sure what's going to happen next, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, we're almost done with this book, but that's just me. Anyway, look at burial. Um, search for stalls. An amazing gift idea. Home is something would catch the eye. They, they're trying to stall with their display. Beautiful pearls in many different colors. Look at pick out a small one. It was a red light gooey as hair. This is the perfect, he said. How much? When the small told him, um, probably told him something like that. More good, right? He quickly put the pearl back. What we do what we do now? Asked Luca. I can tell you what to do, what we do. Something like that, said Gouya. Swimming to hop at the top behind him. Join, join the crowd race. Come on. Wow. The contestants put... Uh, kind of game shows difference. Anyway. Place the crabs um, at a smart storyline. Okay. Makes sense. Anyway. Julia... Uh, go with my dad. Anyway. Uh, cheer the, for the crab. Along with side of Julia, Lucas' grandpas, and parents. Wow. God, did she yell. Um, the crabs show them as fast as they could. But they were no match for Julia's. It went so fast, it passed the other others twice. Okay. Crowd cheers, they cross the finish line. First place. Wow. It makes sense, but this book is never, it is probably over the bang for this first place win with a trophy. It has to make more sense anyway. Will it? Well. It cut off. But anyway. Woohoo! Cheer Goya. She had a huge grin on her face. Wow. He, um, and her crab wore a first place sea star on the shelf, but she knows Luca was very sad. Wow. How was the Mars? He asked. Luca thought, we want to give you a gift. He can fed something for you to remember us, Bob. Oh, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Anyway. Us, Bob. We haven't been able to find anything good. Wow. Santa Gorgia, are you kidding? Gorgia said, this day has been the best gift ever. I will never this ever forever. 
She wrapped this in the big hug. Wow. Oh, well, I should have a great hug with these three if I were these kids. Anyways, I'm going to miss you guys. You have me back and all about your adventure when I come back, get back. A ball of snappy fingers. That's it, he said. But, um, I'm about to get be awesome. Follow me. And that make more sense. This is adorable. Wow. These, the girl and the, and these two fine, um, broke creatures. You know, that makes more sense in any way. Two, three more pages left, and they should be done. Anyway, they followed him back in this high out. Inside were all the human things that Barrel has quit over the years. Wow. Here it is, white Trump thingy, he said proudly. Quiet scratch his head. You might mean a pen. Um, but I already got is school air supplies. Well, wow, okay. This isn't for school, said Barrel. This is for drawing awesome flames. Shot down in flames by ACDC, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know. And making secret maps, and he handed the pen to Goya for writing her us letters while you were away. Lucas beamed to the, to the Julia. This is a good gift, Lucas said. Well, that was good enough for Goya over there. That makes more perfect sense. See, I pronounced it right. And the last page of this final part of the book, seen here is this. The three friends sat together at the proof and looked out towards Provencio Wildcat. Luca and Brazio had found the perfect gift for Goya. But being together in the moment, um, was that the most perfect of all? And that makes more sense. This is the most part of the whole thing. Becoming friends. And that is how we gotta get together and becoming how much gifts and love each other. So that was Pixar's storybook collection. What did I think about this book? It was amazing. Although there has been 18 parts of the book. And it was successful. I've been reading this book for you guys since... Let me just see how long I've been reading it for. Well, it's... Oh my god, it's been since July, okay? Now, I've been doing it on and off, okay? And finally, I fin finally finished this book. And it completely successful. I just, I had to put it on hiatus sometimes. And sometimes I have to do it. But I finally finished it up. That was Bedtime Stories, episode number 535. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned, but that's going to be um, the very first day of school episode of Bedtime Stories. We're going to get to Lilo and Stitch. And then after this, there will be about five more books related to Bedtime Stories until um, there will be 34 one episodes related to how, until the holiday season. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Come, come. Come in the next holiday holiday season. So be look out for those. So be look out for it. Now my excuse me, I gotta I gotta do a book reviews on Jim Henson's biography, and then this will be up next on my main channel. And then I have to go to bed because after this I have to put this back where it belongs. And I have to do something about it. Till next time, this is Jerry's Boys, baby. Good boy, bedtime stories episode. We're going to be soon. Say out. See ya.